Oh, hello and a wonderful good day, everybody. We are going to clap some orcs today together and uh, exploring the game while doing so, of course. So the camera covers right now the uh, thingies here. There's one more faction that's playable right now in the early access. I don't know if the other two factions are playable as of yet. I don't think so, but we're going to hang out with the Rune Wardens today and uh, well, let's go. So, let's see. If you are totally new to this, uh, Orcs is a uh, really cool mix between tower defense, city building, and uh, a deck builder experience. And real-time strategy. There's really a lot of good things uh, going on there. Okay, so our first mission is going to be to defend the Medea Plains. That's going to be very easy, so let's have some fun with that. So, our starter bonus, I'm going to take either a card or an artifact, that's pretty difficult to choose. Hmm, got a hot time here, well, let's pick an artifact. Otherworldly Totem, vision in my draw pile over three additional cards, cancels all weather effects, generate plus one spell vault at the start of the mission, that's pretty cool, let's go for that. And let's go. So, let's see. We have two spell walls we have to build towards two, and the orcs are coming from this direction there. Okay. So, let's see. I am going to build... So the thing here is you need to build roads and uh, castles to, uh, to fight the orcs off with, as you see here. And, uh, oh dear, I already messed up this one. And the castles need to be, uh, enclosed completely by, by castle walls to work in now. We have a, uh, turn, on, on turn, uh, income generation. Let's build a castle here. A lot of goodies there. Whenever we uh, finish a road like that here, we gain money off of it. And we have opened our first vault. I think I went a little bit too far with the game sound, didn't I? Yeah. Let's dare a little bit more sound. Okay, so... We have opened up the spell vault by placing down some building in ne right next to it. Now it has a quest for it for us, so we need to play cards, and then we get a uh, reward for that, which is uh, pretty outright awesome. Okay, let's go this way, and right now I'm looking for uh, a part to. Uh, to save my hor uh, to save me from my horrible decisions there a diagonal wall and uh, here a single wall and a crossroads that's what I needed for this one here so to finish this now so this is now our first finished castle whenever they have no uh, open points left they uh, transform into a real castle and then then you can defend your base with it now this is basically attacking stuff it has seven damage a range of six tiles and uh, 2600 HP good stuff. Now, we are building another castle there, but uh, I really want to get towards that vault here as well, because uh, these yield really nice rewards. So, Apex Sun, all tiles cost minus two. I want to say that normally roads aren't that cheap. So, there's always a weather um, effect as well. And let's see. We're going to drop down a couple of militias. I don't know. Hmm. I don't have any building tiles anymore. So let's cast the Lord's Shear. This increases, uh, this gives me some money, basically. And here we have our second castle. So castles can receive upgrades. As you see here, they have a certain amount of upgrade slots. So we slapped a uh, HP upgrade on that thing now. And uh, how about another farmland? Farmlands and villages create money. That's that. 
The thing here about a village is it's best placed at, a, at the end of a long road, so this was a badly placed village, whereas the farmland, if I remember correctly, doesn't, um, doesn't bother with the length of the road. So we're going to create one more road and then we're going to create a village on this tile there. That should be pretty great. So a Rune of Embers goes on that castle. The uh, Rune of Embers is increasing fire. And as you see here, we have also elemental affinities according to the to the stuff that we put on our, uh, on our castles. I just haven't understood uh, as of yet why, for example, I canceled out the fire there right now. I don't know. So here goes another straight road, and there's the village I wanted. So another wall was opened, and now we also can get ourselves a reward here. Lord's Shear another time, a Rune of Rock or the Blast Tower. The Blast Tower would be an upgrade for our... I'm going to take the Lord's Shear though. Money generating cards are extremely important. Because the more gold we generate, the faster we're going to collapse some orcs. Okay, so uh, we're going to build another little castle here. Really a little one. So we can make them also just two tiles large. And uh, we're going to slap down one militia regiment there. And I'm trying to take care that my money doesn't uh, overspill here. The first mission is a uh, pretty easy one, in general. Oh yeah, we have a diagonal wall and a connector wall, so we can build a really large castle now. Let's do this. And the thing is, the these uh, castle tiles, they always come with a certain amount of uh, open sides. Okay. Whatever. We're going to go this way and uh, about that way here. So another Lord's Shear. And we got roads. Roads, roads, roads. Okay. Let's just make it like that. Here's one large castle. Right now, I don't want to build too many small castles anymore. So here we have to build four. We have to cast forty-five uh, cards. Okay. So what's the reward here? Blast tower, deadly poison tower. Mm, I want that. Damage over time. Damage over time. I like that. So. Here goes another village. I have a hard time getting rid of my gold. That's actually a good sign. So let's see. There's one more diagonal wall. Is this a good connector? I think so. That's mostly because uh, everything is so dirty cheap on this map. It's due to the insane weather effect that we uh, pulled at the very beginning there. So yeah, here, farmland, plus five delayed gold. This just uh, generates flat gold and nothing else. So it's a great thing to put on uh, on the end of short roads. But I am totally, uh, I totally have too much gold. It's crazy. I've never had, in my last run when I tried out this game, I never had that much gold. Never, ever, single time. Okay, I'm going to clap these uh, upgrades on this guy here. Because this, uh, this uh, castle sits nicely in the middle. And, uh, oh yeah. Connector tile with connector tile. And diagonal tile. Right. So we have a long castle now. Right. And the orcs are incoming. So it's finally going to be some action. Let's uh, quicken up the game a tad bit. So, here we go. I 
I should be still playing cards, I just noticed that I wasn't playing any cards anymore. Yeah. Ah, we can also... Can we summon the next wave somehow? that's been that easy enough so we still have to spam out a uh, ton of cards so keep let's keep going so the next attack will be coming from the same angle really important here is that you don't accidentally think that uh, you are uh, going to be attacked only from uh, from one side and you neglect your other defenses it happened to me a couple of times so, let's see. No. I'm at max money since a while. It actually does bother me a bit, but uh, at the same time, I don't think we're going to have any trouble whatsoever with this map, so... I'm okay. So... Big Rune of Ember. Okay, well, let's just uh, fast forward here. Oh, I disabled the chat. Alright. Let's see. Next wave should be a little bit uh, larger than the last one. Because I wasn't placing down the tile. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. It does get harder quite quickly, though. Don't you worry about that. So, we finished that vault. Okay. I'll take another rune of embers. Thank you. These runes, they have a limited amount of uses each fight. You cannot uh, use them... Uh, as often as you want to, basically. Some cards have charges, so to say. Okay, I'm just fooling around here and uh, trying to slap out as many cards as possible to, uh, to get that done. All right, another uh, these thingies. All right. Hmm. This would make for one hell of a castle there. So next wave is incoming from that direction. I don't see any uh, issue there to defend that. So I'm going to pick up a uh, well. It's twelve more damage, five more range. Yeah, we should definitely take that. All right, now they are coming from the uh, other angle here. But, yeah. First level, easy enough. Let's go. So, what can we pick here? Another Lord's Share, another Poison tower or another rune of embers hmm hard well i'm going to pick up the rune of embers so orcs haste at a curse of faith okay curse one plus one per tier orcs cards and mission end <gasps> well i'll take the faster orcs then thank you all right more archers it is you get to pick uh, in which way the uh, difficulty will uh, scale. And there's also corruption to make the game harder for you. So the more corruption you rack up, the harder the game will grow. 
So, select the card to enchant, or artifact. I want an artifact. And as you see here, the more corruption you have, the more rewards you get out of these uh, shops as well. Which is pretty amazing. So, Ravenclaw is also very amazing. It's life leech of my, for my uh, entirety of my buildings. Buildings and warriors have 20% more health. Orcs have less health. Also very good. Or bonus gold. Also very powerful. Oh, that's a difficult one. Between the Ravenclaw and the Orcs Ascension. I think I'm going to take the Ravenclaw, though. Because, uh, you know, Life Leech is a pretty powerful thing. Oh, I dare. I'm having a great day. Thanks for asking. I hope you're having a good time as well. Feeling a little bit under the weather lately, but uh, that's uh, pretty much the only thing. So, we get to choose weather. Sadly, the uh, there is no... Um, tooltip as of yet for the weather effects. I really, really hope they'll change that. So, now we get upgraded works. Now then, we got these vaults there, and the attack is happening from that angle. Alright, okay. At least the first one it is. So, we're going to build our first castle into that direction. So, what does the weather do? Thick fog, vision range, and attack range reduced. Ether Sephiroth plus three. It was a bad choice. Shouldn't have taken that, I guess. But, uh, I'm a noob. Treadbull, hi there. I'm doing great. I hope you are as well, man. Wasn't it you recommending that game to me? If, uh, or I don't know who of you was, but uh, I'm really glad you guys did. I'm having a blast with the orcs, you know. This is one of the most fun things that I've touched in the last uh, couple of months. I expected nothing, and I was, uh, I'm was i pretty blown away by what I'm getting there. Yeah, it was you, right? Thought so. So here we would be blocking that tile. I don't want that. So, let's see. Let's pack a rune of embers on that thing. I really need something to earn money with. Crossroads would be perfect, exactly. Strategy card game kind of thing. Well, it's uh, it's it's first and foremostly I would uh, put this game into the genre of tower defense games because it's uh, all about keeping the town center alive, surviving the waves of the orcs, and. Uh, building up castles to uh, shoot the orcs down. So in its in its core gameplay, it's, it's a tower defense game. But it does uh, pick up a lot of different features, a lot of different cool things from, uh, from, from other games. Like you have the artifact system that I got the first time in Slay the Spire. You have deck building like you uh, see it in a lot of games nowadays. And uh, you have this, uh, it's really a lot of good stuff going on there. Tower defense games are not popular. I don't know. I think a lot of people love it as a time killer. Although Orcs puts this to a uh, to a new level because it's uh, it is quite deep. That's all what I'm trying to say. You can put quite a lot of strategy into that. So here we're going to use the King's Road spell for uh, more money because money is good for us. And now we have single walls there that we can put up. So I'd say I'm going to slap up another castle here. The real uh, exciting part about this game is that you are constantly um, fighting with those tiles. You are constantly uh, forced to think about what you are going to um, build where. And uh, that's something I really, really like about this game a lot. It's like, uh, for example, right now I'm preparing to uh, put something right next to these vaults. Because they're just that powerful. Redraw three times to complete the quest. Oh, yuck. Choose one of three new tile cards. Oh, no, that's uh, summon new warrior camps to receive rewards. Okay. Hey, Alvin, hi there. So happy to see you. Call it complicated. Complicated sounds so negative, though. Uh, 
All right, we got a diagonal wall there. I want to build it up there. The only thing I really felt like was complicated with, about this game was uh, getting behind the um, the way the game um, wants you to build castles. That was one thing that uh, stressed me out a tiny bit when I started out because I really had no freaking clue how I was supposed to do that. So, another Rune of Embers for you. Rune of Rock for you. The small ones don't uh, have many um, upgrade slots, but... Uh, there we go. Farmland incoming. So, walled opened. Now we also have everything we require here. Let's see, I, I can't remember if a, uh, a road tile right next to it counts as well. Great. Okay. We want something like that here. And then some finisher over there. Okay. So villages like to stand at the or at the end of a long road. Hey Nitro, welcome. So happy to see you, man. So let's have a road uh, downwards to another uh, upgrade for our wallet. And the orcs are incoming. So. Let's see. I need to redraw three times to uh, make that thing happy. So first off, let's summon these things. These guys there. So, a new diagonal wall tile, a scriber guild. Plus one hand scan cards. And has four open sides. This makes a nice starter for large castles. Or we would pick up another diagonal wall. The thing here is the scriber guild has only one charge, as you see here. Whereas the diagonal wall is a uh, permanently redrawable card. This is quite important because this way, this card doesn't really make my deck fatter. This one does. So you gotta be careful with these. I'm going to pick up the Scriber Guild because I'm a big fan. So let's do the redraw magic. Because I have to. You can redraw your hand, but uh, whenever you uh, use initiative... Initiative is gained after defeating the wave. I had no clue. Um, when you redraw your hand, you uh, you you fasten up the enemy wave. So if you ever grow impatient, that's also a way of uh, summoning the orcs. All right, so we have a small castle there, and uh, let's see. I want that uh, connector wall thing there. I want to place it down. Ah, yeah, here. Yeah. We have to defend ourselves for, uh, from this flank next. So, I ain't got no initiative as of yet, eh? So, let's hope that these two castles are going to be able to destroy that. But we have life leech on our castles, that comes in quite handy. Okay. Looking good so far, though. Well, I'm pretty okay today. Just feeling a tad bit under the weather lately, I don't know. But beyond that, everything's pretty awesome. I love this game. I'm really happy that I picked up something uh, something new that's uh, really pleasing me. Overall, there's uh, been a, a lot of great new stuff showing up uh, lately there. Like... Uh, Got a lot of good recommendations. Overall, the job's more fun than uh, than often, you know, I don't want to say. So, we have this here, and uh, I got a Scriber Guild, and I got a single wall. So, we're going to build the Scriber Guild castle. Well, it's going to be a tad bit more complicated this time. So, here, let's put it down there. Life Leech on a Castle sounds strange as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ravenclaw wasn't my idea. 
It is affecting the soldiers as well, though. So All that hard work I'm doing, it doesn't really feel like hard work. Everything else in my life feels like hard work. <laughs> The job's actually what, um, where, where the fun's at for me most of the time. Alright, let's slap out another Rune of Embers here. I have to do one more redraw. So, let's see. But I want to uh, put out the, the Scriber's Guild before I do so. Although, I gotta say, no, we're not. We're, uh... I'd be delaying my progression way too hard due to that. So can I do that twice? Yeah, so that works out too. So now we have the money we actually needed in the first place. So what kind of card? Another Lord's Share? I don't think so. Blast Tower? I can also skip, but do I want to skip? No, I want a Rune of Gust. I like these. So six redraws. Not sure if I really want to take that quest out, honestly. So, let's take another village there. Militia regiment. That's really what I needed. So, we are going to redraw at that point. Maybe this is going to teach me also the the true value of redrawing. Maybe uh, maybe I'll be using redraw more more often after uh, this level. Who knows? So single wall with crossroads doesn't fit anywhere, eh? Damn it. Air, um... Well, I don't know where the third attack will, will be staged at, but uh, honestly, it doesn't matter that much. First couple of levels are really only uh, basically tutorial. I did, uh, it did feel to, to me like that, honestly. Yeah, let's do the redraw, why not? Only four more to go or something like that. Has the rain yet arrived? Nah. Over here in Germany, it's only raining for a couple of uh, minutes. Uh, a couple of two or three hours max and then it's uh, gone again not cool these days really not cool so I'm going to pick up a farmland card because these are really awesome the first time I was playing this I was massively neglecting the fact that I also uh, I am also playing an economy game and uh, it's really important to have stuff to tickle up your income Otherwise, you're uh, you're going to die. Once the difficulty ramps up, that is. So, Greyguard Castle is holding fine. Alright, Scribes Guild's down. Oh boy, we can't build one majestic castle there. With connectors after connectors. Too crazy for my taste. Oh dear. Why are you doing this to me, game? I just want an uncomplicated part. So that's how I actually uh, are, am going to use all these redraws. So, yeah. Last wave incoming. Cannot do the redraw one more time. But I gotta say, it's okay. It's not that important, you know? It's not like we're missing out on a uh, vital reward or anything. And I have cracked up the other vault, so... Guys have the constant rain we need, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love lightning storms, you know. Uh, nothing beats a good uh, lightning storm to, for me. Alrighty, so... A little bit sad that I wasn't able to crack open the last vault there. 
but six redraws is a pretty sick uh, demand there. So corruption does increase. And uh, let's see, rewards. Another diagonal wall, Spearman Regiment. I haven't had these ever before. Let's pick them up. Orcs Haste or Curse of Doom. Curse summons 45 Orcs Warrior versus mo faster moving and attacking Orcs. More Orcs? Quantity or quality? <laughs> We'll take the quantity. Yeah, I love the. I love to sleep to the sound of rain too. So now we here we get to increase or decrease the corruption. Since I'm a scrub, I'm decreasing the corruption. Okay, okay. So we are going to uh, get rid of what act actually. Mm. What's the least useful thing, or I think, yeah, well, I really have a hard time with this game uh, deciding which uh, cards to remove. I always feel like the uh, non-endless versions, uh, or the limited versions of the roads, are always the first things to get rid of, because they, they kind of like uh, convolute your deck. So, select a card to upgrade or enchant. I never tried the enchantment thing, so I want to do that. So, you finally got rid of Bojo the Clown, though, hey? Is it like that? So, let's see. What can we enchant there? Um, ah, here. Static. Upon redraw, keep this card in hand and divide its cost by two. Oh, this is a nice one. So, we're going to slap that on top of a... Uh, either the Blast Tower or the Scriber Guild, but I'm going to take the Scriber Guild because halving the cost of this thing is pretty awesome. You get these other upgrades only if you are above a certain corruption threshold. Clan's gone. Man, you guys were so, uh, I don't know. There's so much wrong in this world, but the face of uh, Boris Johnson really depicted that very well, what's going on in this world. The wrongness of it, I mean. Anywho, I don't want to talk politics right now. So what can we do here? Um, another weather manipulation ritual. So we already had Apex Sun, the uh, other run, and it was great. Um, Twilight or Earthquake. Or both sound pretty crappy, but we're going to pick a crappy one because I want to find out what they do. The Scriber don't have limited uses. Yeah, it has only one. But um, Redraw is a feature I don't use that often. I don't have any a, a wacky quest requiring me to do to spam this like a man man. Usually I don't do that. So what have I done now? It's it's awful, so is it? So all tiles cost plus one. Global health reduced by thirty-five. Earth Sephiroth plus three. So global health reduction can be a good and a bad thing at the same time. I'm not sure what I did to myself there. Okay, whatever. We have a vault here with uh Redraw and uh, card play. So, well, well. Oof, I, I'd say. Well, we're going to rotate this in a way that. No. Actually, here. That's more like it. So, all tiles cost plus two. That was a terrible decision. But well, you know, you gotta make terrible decisions to find out which one, which are the decisions you can't go for. So this is really crappy. I have lots of cards that I can't play right now. <laughs> All these upgrades. I would usually say let's redraw, but uh, at the same time, do you really want to redraw under these circumstances? Yeah, now you want to. Or uh, I should rather say I have to. <laughs> Okay, well then. Mm, another road goes on over here. This is a crappy start. At 
It's a lot about the earthquake, though. Alright, at least we have a burst castle down now, so... Uh... What can go possibly wrong from here on? So, let's see. We've got one farmland. No, two farmland available. That's great. So I'm going to... Close off one of my roads like that, but I really need the money right now. And we can place down another castle wall there. Awesome. So I'm going to build towards here. Let's make it like that. Versatility, you know. So another connector wall. Okay, let's place down another farmland there. Oh, hooray. A straight ro just a straight road. Finally. Ah, uh, also a, uh, a crossroads. Been looking for a VAP since a while now. And another castle done. Yeah, the situation is slowly getting under control. All right, we got two castles here. Let's uh, make that a third one, real small one there. So, don't want to put down any of these regimen. So, there we go. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's actually going to be a better thing this way. Oh yeah, another village. At this point, it's going to be ex an excellent spot for a village, I think. Hey, Ash, welcome. Am I enjoying the game, Treadful? That would be not enough to say. This is really something I, I've i been basically waiting for. I love well-made uh, tower defense games, you know? And uh, I let's just say I haven't had that much fun since uh, I was playing Gemcraft, and I loved Gemcraft. Okay, Gemcraft was one of my absolute favorite games in the genre, and uh, this this gives me very similar vibes, you know. So our next orcs are arriving from this angle. Let's greet them with a nice, hefty um, Scriber Guild castle. So, first castle down, that's a little bit unsettling, but not, not too uh, frightening. Let's redraw here to get the bonus from the rune there, oh boy. Are we really not getting enough damage in there? Looks like I'm losing it already, lol. Gemcraft was a great game. Yeah, I think I'm dead. I really didn't think they'd to chew, chew through the uh, first thing uh, through the first castle there that quickly. Yeah, amazing. I didn't expect that. All right, <laughs> dead witch. Hi there. Gemcraft was a great game, or is a great game. I am not done with the latest uh, installment there myself. But, well, time issues. The omnipresent time issues, you know. Thanks for the lurk, Ash, by the way. Appreciate it. So, let's keep those roads going, shall we? Mm, here we have another handful of uh, tower upgrades. That's really the worst, when you just get a handful of tower upgrades. That doesn't get you anywhere. Well, I just didn't expect the uh, that castle to blow up that quickly. That's been the entire uh, problem. 
really expected it to last a little bit longer or the orcs to explode faster after we have this earthquake event uh, reducing the HP of them by 35%. I really thought that would have more impact. I was wrong, obviously. Alright, so crossroads or something like that would be nice. Let's put a rune of rock on this to prevent some event like that another time. Let's put down a farmland for some extra income. I don't have finished roads yet, though. That's a little bit of an issue. Alrighty. So, a single wall like that. Did I hear Gemcraft stream? <laughs> probably, probably. I mean, the game's pretty, uh, it's pretty dated, you know? In a way that uh, not too many people would be extremely hyped about it. But let's redraw it, can't do anything else. Um, but like I said, it's, uh, I had always a really, really great time with Gemcraft. So let's put some soldiers in front of that thing. And hope for a crossroads soon. There it goes. I feel like Earthquake is a uh, real massive pain in the bum. And uh, it really doesn't uh, pay off well. Judging from what I've seen so far. Ah, Q does rotate. Just wanted to say I want a hotkey for a bad. Okay. But I really am a little bit undercastled right now, game. Game, please castle me up. Thanks. Really need this one to get finished before uh, it goes down, but um, ah. yeah. Well, the uh, the the whole redraw thing is uh, killing me too often. That's been a bad one. I know that. There we go. At least I got the uh, scribe skill thingy down now. Do another uh, Lord's thingy there. And the next attack will, will be coming from that angle over there. So uh, we're going to rotate our castles towards that. Let's do more Rune of Rock this time. Let's just hope that uh, this time we rock. Yeah, you, you the the wave does come come faster if you uh, redraw without um, without having won a wave before. You get a uh, free redraw whenever you beat a wave, basically. That's looking better so far. Yeah, I think we're good. I love it when I can use those little corners like these with the farmland. That feels always very, 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 very rewarding. Alright. Finally, we're getting into, uh, into swing here. Alright. Let's clap down the Spearman Regiment too. Oh, we get a... Uh, already get a reward here. So, what do we have here? Rune of Morph. Upgrade one rune card in hand until the end of battle. Now, Rune of Rock, Rune of Frost. Oh, yeah. I like that one. 
So, Rune of Rock goes here, Rune of Gust goes here. Rune of Unbroke is here. So, against Brokenness does help this thing. And here comes already the next wave. I mean, one good thing is always at the end of the day, if you place your, uh, your grid down properly, all your other, all your castles help together, you know. Now we'll have impact from Umbra Vale and uh, Isindul as well. So, um, yeah. So, let's see. Do we have some slots open? And we get our last attack from that angle. Or, no, not the last one. Okay. So luckily they're uh, they're obviously going for the next castle. Getting their billions vibes. Yeah, that's also a pretty good comparison. Like I said, this game does uh, take a lot of goodness out of uh, various different games. And I can only say it's oh Ah, okay, the curse does uh, summon the Orcs Warriors at the very point. I didn't realize. Um, what this game already does extremely well is uh, providing a ton of fun at this very, very early stage, you know. It's just like... Uh, hard to believe that this is merely a uh, early access version so far. It feels extremely fleshed out and uh, very, very fulfilling to play. For being an early access, that is. So. Big attack coming in from this angle. That sucks quite hard. We also have a uh, kind of a boss orc incoming. No, it's not kind of a boss orc. It is a boss orc. He's even called Giga Orcs, you know? Because in this game, every orc is uh, never a singular. They are uh, every. They are always plural. Orcs is singular and pure plural in this game. All right, Let's slap up a rune of frost so we can't free up our hand. Well, I want to redraw at this point. Yeah. Let's drop down more militia and the like. So let's put down a root of rock here. Don't have good feeling here with that. A lot of polish, art style, it's great. Yep, feels so too. Like I said, I, I didn't expect anything when I started, and I uh, I, I got so much out of this game. So, the Giga Orcs, the first one is uh, going down, but uh, the other dudes are eating that uh, castle there as well. So, we have we have Umbra Whale though, with a uh, really, really high punching power there. So, looks like there's hope for us. Yeah, looking good. Alrighty. And uh, the next wave's already incoming. Those redraws are extremely punishing, I gotta say. I'm not convinced that we're actually going to win this because I did too many redraws. And I was playing the game the first time, I almost did uh, not use the redraw mechanic at all. And uh, I think today I'm overusing it a bit. But, uh, you know, there is no progression without experimentation, so I'm not the least little bit uh, sad about trying what I'm trying there. And the endless farmlands are pretty awesome too. So, Shazam, 
Instant Castle. Chapel. Collect three delayed gold for each developed tile in three on three. What's a developed tile? I guess a tile where something is already built on, eh? So the chapel is a great finisher of sorts, I think. Yeah, art style wise, I, I get a lot of Darkest Dungeon vibes out of this as well. If you look at how the uh, character uh, art is made. So, Town Center is already getting a bit of beating. And uh, what I do like a lot here is that this game also does uh, um, not work with a clear. Uh, not work with a clear pathing model. Yeah, I, I noticed Dreadbull. This thing is spitting out 24 gold. It's really a nice uh, return on uh, on what what I uh, invested there. Alrighty, but uh, looks like we're actually still surviving that wave as well. Somehow. Well, it's been the endless swarm of uh, farmlands, if you ask me. That really, really uh, did a lot there. And uh, we have the, the Sephiroth power going on there as well. Our health had uh, has been increased quite wildly there. Okay. What can we draw here? A diagonal wall, a wall of morph, or another scriber skilled? Let's pick another diagonal wall then. Spawn an additional pack of orcs from the shield clan. Add a curse of glory to the player stack. A curse. 30% per tier more orcs in the next wave. Blah. Alright. These either clutter your hand, or you play them and you suffer the uh, side effect. Yeah, let's do that then. Tomorrow is a Songs of Six streaming day, Adam. You're right about that. And hello and welcome. Happy to see you. I have this uh, practically uh, already nailed down. <laughs> Alright, so I can get a uh, neutral card for adding corruption, or I can reduce corruption. Let's... Uh... Let's see, what's a neutral card? Ether Lord, animate, restore warrior squad or building gold sack. Increase base gold income by one till dawn. Hell yeah! <laughs> you can't cast that five times. I mean, till dawn only means that you can build it only once uh, per. Uh, that that only affects that very day, but I think it is a very powerful thing, nevertheless. Generate plus one tile vault at the start of the mission. No, thank you. All roads cost less. Yeah, I want that. Definitely want that. Alright, I'm going to fetch myself something new to drink, and I'll be right back in a second. As far as I can see, there is uh, here, this seems to be a uh, threshold thing, so uh, current world corruption, none. I think uh, once you, you get past these uh, 25 point marks, there's going to be a change in it. So let's see, I still have no clues here. Swarm Clan and Arrow Clan, I see. Various ranged and siege units. Oh, I haven't had these guys when I was playing it the first time. And now I understand why I got pelted so hard. Two snowstorm, sandstorm, void pyre. I wish you could would get any preview about the weather ritual that you can't get. Let's take void pyre then. What's everyone else playing today? I'm playing orcs. Oh, I think I wasn't asking. <laughs> Sorry. Just had to do that. Okay. 
Well, let's see. What kind of uh, funky weather did I choose this time? Darkness Sephiroth? Sacred Sephiroth. Global Vampirism plus 15. All cards costs minus one. So that's a... That's actually quite a beneficial one for us here. So we have the vaults. The vaults are literally everywhere. So we have one vault there, one vault there. And, uh... We seem to have no intel about uh, vault number four, about the whereabouts of that. We only know that we're being attacked from these two angles, so... Uh, I think this is going to be where we are uh, going to defend us for the in the first place now. So, let's see. Uh, the last time I was playing this, uh, I, I really noticed that uh, here it shows whether your build sucks or not. And I think my build sucks hard. So, I'm, I would be surprised if I'd be winning that now, but uh, we'll see about that. So here's a nice spot for a militia regimen, and uh, let's see, what do we have here? Um, complete construction of castles. Summon warriors, okay. Redraw. And new roads. So this thing here, I'm not a big fan of the redraw thingy, because I think I brought myself into so much trouble in the last couple of... Uh, runs just by trying to fulfill the redraw um, thing, so I'm not willing to take that once more. So we cannot use the Lord's Share if we don't have a finished, finished road yet. That sucks, doesn't it? So let's see, we can finish a road though here. Wouldn't that be nice? Yes it is. There we go. So there's the gold sack. Let's spam out the Lord's Share first. Then, well, I'm going to put down a farmland here. Then I'm going to clap out the gold sack. Rune of Rock goes here quite well too. Yo, game, where are my castle parts? Let's put down another farmland. And get ourselves a road. Oh yeah, crossroads. Me likes. Yo guys, I know that I have castle parts in this deck. I'm not making this up. I know they are there. Alrighty, hold yourself. All right. I don't like ruining up uh, two slot castles, but uh, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. So I don't want to place down a chapel at this very moment because that's a pretty crappy moment to do so. The village, on the other hand, is uh, not uh, not better either. It's a pretty difficult situation right now to be in. A redraw would be pretty nice, but I don't know if I really want to... Uh... Yeah, well, let's take that for once. So, let's see. We got access to the Scriber Guild thingy. So, let's do this. Um, single wall here. Scriber Guild goes... Why doesn't it... Uh... Go here, game. Mind telling me, please? Whatever. Then we're going to build it like that. Castle is a castle, I know. The Scriber Guild would be better um, with uh, me redrawing my hand beforehand, anyway, so. Okay, place down some spear dudes. And let's see, there's a diagonal wall thingy. I hope we are able to connect to that. And, oh no, farmland, I don't have a village anymore. Too bad. That would have been uh, really great, but... Uh, another militia regiment. 
and a gold sack card. Lord Shear. And the Road Wood Connectors. So, now we got that. Let's build a stupidly large castle there. I'm dropping down the chapel now. I don't really want to wait that much longer, honestly. And I think I will need a diagonal tile now for this one as a finisher too, hey? Should be acquirable at some point. Poison towers here sound nice. Ah, that's been the village I've been waiting for. So, Frost Room for some soldiers, not not that much of a big fan, but uh, not against it either, you know. What's really great about my setup right now is the fact that I easily can just uh, clap out uh, roads as much as I want to, because they, they literally don't hurt me. Because I don't have to pay anything for them, you know. Or at least the single uh, road tiles. So, another Lord's Share there. Let's cast a mini. Place down a mini castle. Still hoping to just uh, pull out a uh, another diagonal tile there. It's not as if I uh, wouldn't, uh, as if I didn't draft any of these into my deck, you know. All of a sudden they pretend as if they are not around anymore. But we do have stupidly much money right now. Like, for real. So, let's see, another crossroads would be nice. Let's actually place it down here. Another chapel. Awesome. Another Lord's Share. Well, I don't need that right now. What I do need, though, is... Uh, a diagonal tile. I know that you guys are out there. Don't shit me, please. Well, well. There we go. Castle Valdez Yorn is finally done. Okay. So we got here another little castle. Okay, some more militia. You know, I'm cluttering the place in front of my uh, town hall there. So here we have another thingy we could connect towards to. Do that. What kind of reward is in it for us? Another Rune of Gust. I'll take that any time of the day. Alright, so... Single wall and crossroads. Gonna look like that. There we go. And that one corresponds with the road builds. So here uh, we are being attacked by a uh, by a boss, you know, a real boss this time. Brutalk. Okay then. Hey Pixel, welcome! Happy to see you. Yeah, this is uh 
This game has been a very, 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 very pleasant surprise on my, uh, on my end. I didn't actually expect so much goodness, but, uh, it actually is, so. Looks like we clapped back the brutal, k Brutalk guy. Alright, gold sack. Rune of Rock, why not? More farmland? No. Under no circumstances. Okay, well, that went down smoothly. And I thought my build would suck quite hard. Seems like it doesn't. So, we're going to summon some orcs at this spot. With the curse of doom, you know. Doom. Okay. So far, so good. We are going to be able to... Let's see. Can't weld that on top of the other guys, can we? Too bad. So. There we go. And now we need another diagonal connector for, for that uh, castle to come together, so... A piece of farmland. Let's see. Fountain of Life. Hmm. Let's take that, why not? Farm fits in the hole, yep. Here, that one. So... That would be a crazy one too, but uh... Due to the road, it doesn't really fit in. Anywho, let's build ourselves... More of them crazy castles. By the way, one part about about this game I love very, very much is the castle building is a lot of fun. Another diagonal wall? Can't we get a finisher for good now? Come on. Don't be like that to me. Well, obviously. Farmland. Another connector for the connector? I don't know. Here we go, finally. Or, wait a sec. That ain't finishing up that one either, is it? Another diagonal wall, anybody? Why not? I mean, the castle's only getting bigger this way, you know? But... There we go. There's the single wall I've been waiting for. So, weirdest castle ever is Umbra Vale. Alright. Okay, Big Boss has been uh, taken out of this quite quickly. The real fun part about this new castle is that it has now an insane amount of slots and uh, quite a lot of resources at the same time. It's actually a pretty, uh, pretty powerful and big thing. But I think it's clearly noticeable that I didn't bring up enough uh, straight walls into this build. I think that's just uh, clearly showing off here that uh, 
if I had a couple more of these uh, straight walls without a uh, without a um, road attached to it, because I I do have have these, but uh, always with a road attached to it, and I feel like I have only one. T oh, they can connect. I didn't know that I can fuse castles afterwards. Interesting. So today I learned. Doing good for now, I think so too. Judging the fact that I merely started out lately, I'm, all, I'm totally okay with what I'm doing here as well. Yeah, I didn't expect that either, you know. So, Sundarium. Okay. We pretty much broke now, right now, though. So, not here. The farmlands are a pretty amazing way of earning money, though, gotta say. So, let's see. Mm main objectives to defeat the boss I see oh. let's creep keep upgrading that castle to uh, to stupendous uh, degrees now I only need to find out how I can uh, make that uh, happen on purpose and not on uh, not only on accident oh I can upgrade something awesome so we're going to upgrade our single wall cards that are only single use or uh, low amount of use at least so let's see where is the most spill spill through I'd say we uh, We're going to need a, another castle right there, mostly. Ooh, they come with a siege engine on their own by now. Nifty. Nifty orcs. Seriously, that stuff's doing a lot of damage. But so is Orkenbald. 115 damage coming out of that thing. Just to, for the sake of comparison, we started out with uh, with five damage of that castle, so 115 is a quite uh, impressive count into that in that regard. Okay, so that side of the castle is finished. Yeah, so I do learn out of this a lot. Take this. Okay, money generation has run a little bit low, but on the other side we are pretty well defended right now, so it ain't that much of a biggie either. Um, no? Oh yeah. Although due to the fact that we constantly do get uh, new farmlands, we are gaining some income after all. All right. It's on one more wave for uh, left to go, I think. So I have lots of initiative, I think, uh, to use here. So. side of the map is uh, looking quite bad. So let's see, we can't build up anything extra there.
but I'd say we win. Oh, dang it. I messed up this one. That castle ain't gonna come together. enemy left uh, there, okay. So, here... Oh, we, we can't finish that because this guy is pooping on us there. Dang it. Alright, but there's a small castle still possible here. Or dudes that Orchin Wald have now. Achieve greatness. All right. So, do I automatically win now, or do I have to kill the rest of the wave there? Yeah, Pixel. I really uh, admire how this game is looking out as well. I was uh, very um, skeptical at first when I only saw the cover artwork. I was like, "Isn't that really cool?" But by now, yep. Very much so. More orcs, but later. Orcs haste tier 2. Duh. Yeah, well, let's uh, have extra waves instead. Orcs empower. Oh, I didn't want that. <laughs> okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Pull out sword and give it to the record keeper. Basic sword plus two damage to all units and buildings. Okay. Me wants. So now we get to get into Act Two of the campaign. Hell yeah. I didn't manage to do so the last time. Off a dash, hi there. What's cooler than heavy metal orcs? Orcs with actual heavy metal and uh, backing them up, I'd say. It's the only thing missing in this game. So, increase gold capacity by 10. It, at 3 vision range, increase allied attack speed. Now, that goes without a uh, second thought. Attack speed on allies plus 15 is amazing. I think. Alrighty. So, let's go. Mm. I, I do like how this game goes, like... You constantly, uh, you constantly have that uh, progression there, the pressure, and uh, you know, I, I really dig that. So we have a Lord's share card on the hand, which doesn't uh, get us anywhere. It's one of these uh, moments where I actually want to redraw, but I'm absolutely uh, knowing that I that I really should not. Absolutely not. Or, well... Better now than later. On the other hand, you know. So... Let's bring up... one of those farmlands to gain some money. And I just figured that I want a diagonal walled castle there. You know. Something, something, something big. Something with some whack. Okay, so we have now at least a street to cast Lord's Share on, even if it's a really a puny reward there. It could be worse, you know, it could be worse. There goes the next castle card. Speaking about could be worse, mm, I just decided that I'm not going to be picky about that village. Because uh, villages, they prefer to be uh, on at the end of a long road. But if you don't have that available at the very moment, sometimes I made the experience it's quite okay to be pr pragmatic instead and just uh, keep it like that, you know. Also due to the fact that you can always uh, place down a, a uh, let's see, 
um, place down new roads somewhere else. This game does not have the same kind of pressure um, other games of this genre have, where you can actually um, misbuild in a way that you're uh, not even able to build anything anymore. The worst thing that could, ha could happen to you here is that you accidentally um, lock up single tiles and uh, make them unusable for for other um, parts of the gameplay. So, uh, you want me to co construct new castles. I want to construct new castles as well. You're gonna come along nicely there. So... Now then, we are going to cast down this one. Scriber skilled and all. Because obviously I do need that. Alright, sadly I am... Um, not convinced that we're going to survive that night. Or can I can put more people on the same tile? I had no clue. So here we go. Come on, game. Don't be like that to me. Ah, I hate it when that happens. Here we go, finally. You know, I merely needed one, uh, one straight single wall tile. Cool. Castle is finished now, too. <laughs> well, okay, stuff's getting along more nicely now. Yeah, and they connected again afterwards. I like that. So you can start out with a couple of small castles at the beginning, and uh, you don't need to nail yourself down. But if I see that correctly, you have the problem that uh, the elemental affinities of these castles get swapped over and, uh, and the like. So, let's see. I really do like the uh, action part of this game. There's so much going on constantly. Jolly good fun. Okay. And we, uh, we've just been finished with one wave of orcs, and uh, the next one's directly incoming. Barely get to spend all my money right now. Alright, there's a village. That's a good one. So far, so easy, you gotta say. Hmm. Oh, this is an upgraded diagonal wall. 
comes with 6,000 H uh, 6, HP. Nothing to sneeze at. These are extremely valuable. Alright, but uh, so far... It's going down quite well. Honestly, didn't expect to be that lucky, but, uh, whatever. What? The night's over for once? Amazing. So, let's see, we got attackers from these two sides. Alrighty. Mm, let's pick up another deadly poison tower because I really feel like these are very, very valuable all of all. So let's put another one of these there. And now we're going to slap down one of these majestic diagonal walls somewhere. Okay, there we go. This does make me realize one thing, that I'm right now still flinging around merely rookie numbers, and gives me the, the uh, feeling of all the things that we actually can do at some point later down the road. Because, you know, right now, well, this all does give me the feeling that I'm only seeing the, the beginning of my options. Piece of farmland. So, more and more diagonal walls coming up for this castle. One fun thing about uh, unfinished castles, they tank for you. They slow down the impact of the uh, orcs there. And now we need actually another one of these single wall and crossroads things, but I think worked out there. Nice. Okay. Well, they've eaten that little uh, part of the castle. Like I said, you can always put down a, a portion of a castle as a uh, decoy for nasty orcsies to, uh, to munch on. I'm not sure if I'm, uh, if I'm seconding what's, uh, what's going on here, though, in the long run. I find it highly uh, weird that you... Uh, that you can um, set up a castle which is actually already destroyed, so to say. So I really think I need some more defenses on that side there. see how this will play out. So I have zero initiative. No. Where can I see how much initiative I do have? Anybody know? Because it only says that use one initiative to discard your hand is gained after defeating the wave. Yeah, but uh, where do you see how much initiative you have? Because that's something I didn't see right now. Hmm. 
Well. And here again, the uh, castle's connected. I love it. So I'm slowly starting to learn how uh, how these things work. And farmlands definitely are uh, one of the major sources of income in this game. fun mechanic overall that you really don't seem to generate any income whatsoever without uh, extra cards if you get what, if you know what I mean if you don't invest any uh, if you don't build new roads or build new farmlands or the like you uh, are on a very 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 low income the whole time I like that That's why I think extra farmland cards are, ex are extremely valuable and important. Okay. Let's try out if this will work out. Farmland and farmland can connect to each other. That's a nifty uh, w uh, trick worth knowing. Because, for example, I could slap into farmlands in there now. Cool. Alright. Let's amp up the damage a tad bit. Okay, other flanks, there are a lot of castle dying, oh yeah, it's not really a castle dying. I want to have more defenses on this uh, flank now. Feeling uncomfortable with the orcs getting that close to my town center the whole time there. Yeah, I think this is going to lose me the game now. Yeah. Didn't pay enough attention to that flank, but it's okay. We're going to abandon that run here at this point. I do like that you get to restart if you want to, and not like with other games of the genre where you're forced to uh, reset if you don't want to. I really like that, because I feel like we could have uh, won that. Basically, the biggest issue there was the misplacement of uh, of my defenses. I should have uh, built a ring around the, the center of this, but whatever. We had a good time. So what do we have gained? The Shopshooter Guild, plus 50% castle damage, and it comes with open castle sites. Great. Architect Camp, reduce the cost of tiles by one. Roadside. Dawn, next tiles. So, is that only inside radius, or is that just a global minus one to the cost of tiles? I mean, it wouldn't be that amazingly overpowered now that I saw how costly cards get later down the road. Magic Mancer, generate plus one spell vault, yeah. All roads cost less, basic sword, I unlock that. And these uh, curses we uh, unlock for the encyclopedia as well. Alright, so... The good news, we've unlocked a, uh... Wait a sec. 
Beat Act 1 with Rune Guardians to unlock Dune Reavers. I did so. Why can't I play the Dune Reavers yet? Well, whatever. We're going to I'm going to find that out on another occasion. So I thank you all for uh, tuning on in for the stream. This is uh, the end of this first stream. Next time we're going to go on in again. And uh, if this has been a video on demand for you, or if you guys want to be really, really helpful, drop me a comment down below. A thumbs up would be really appreciated as well. And a subscription helps you staying updated with the new streams coming on out. If you don't want to do that, there's my social media in the description box, there's Twitter and Discord where I announce all the streams way before they happen, and there's also links to my Patreon and to my Paypal account. If you want to support this channel, I would be wildly appreciating it, because this entire channel can only exist with your help, and therefore, thanks for all the helpers, and you might want to check it out. Either way, thanks for watching the ad roll. Have a wonderful day, you all, and see you soon. And uh, for all of those who want to stay on, there's going to be another stream after this one. I'm going to take a short break, make myself some new tea, and then the show will go on. Check it out on the Discord if you want to stay posted. See you there.